Okay, friends, again, I have my friend, uh, Vess Ott from Seattle, Washington with us. And he was yesterday ended up telling us how he sees our nation moving right into a socialistic, communistic uh, society. I want him to tell us a little bit about what life was like under communism. So um, I wanted to tell you a story. So basically, uh, um, we would get up early in the morning, around four o'clock in Russia, to go up to the mountains to have a, a service before the KGB wakes up and then come back and then come back. And the persecution of the Christians, even inside the church, sometimes the place that we gather, you would see a gentleman staying over there and you know, he he's, he's, he's dressed in black, you know, no sun outside, but he has these black glasses on, you know, it's a KGB and kids could not allow if you're not 18, you cannot be in the service. You cannot be there. Mm. And the, uh, the other thing was, you know, you couldn't freely read your Bible on the streets or doing your lunch or even, even outside sitting, you couldn't have this opportunity to read your Bible freely. I was, number one, I was prosecuted as a Christian. Number two, as a German in Russia. Mm. You know, in the school, I was taken outside Put it, put it like on a mock. They say, okay, look at this guy. You know, he's, he's German and he also believes in God. You know, and the only reason people didn't do anything because they were my friends, some of them, you know, mm -hmm. and they did not understand that. Right. But, but the thing was, it was unbearable. And the, what I see today in the school society and everything, People mocking you if you're a Christian, mm -hmm. you know, it reminds me again that this kind of slowly, gradually gets there and it starts with the government. It started back there with the government telling there is no God. There is. And today, today, what I see in the schools, what I see in what's going on, because yes, they say in the pledge, uh, pledge of religion to the flag, you know, yes, they still put their hand on the Bible when they go into the court, but they are so far apart from it. And I see that this moment is is a wake up for the Christians. Yeah, it's kind of a lip service and yeah. not a heart service yeah. anymore. Yes. Yeah. But it is. So, friends, I want to tell you, we we do need to pray for our nation. Yes. We need to pray every day that uh, that God would would undertake and intervene. But our leadership, my friends, pray for our leadership that they will follow the principles yes. of the Word of God. Yes, yes, yes. And Amen. Because yeah. we don't want to drift into that no, place. No, and, no. And no. I appreciate you sharing you. this, um, Vess and. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. And thank you for yeah, being with you. us, Vince. Thank you. It's a lot. Bye-bye.